In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the TK400 wireless test kit. These are the tools you'll need for this installation. The TK400 is used to find the best locations for PIM400 devices in your AD series wireless system. The TK400 kit consists of a PIM400 TD2 with power supply, a WPR400 with a battery charger, and a carrying case. For best test results, ensure your facility has all intended furniture in place. Place the PIM400 TD2 in the same location that you intend to install the actual PIM. The PIM must be within 200 horizontal feet and on the same floor of the wireless devices that you intend to link. Avoid mounting the PIM on a metal surface and keep separation of at least one inch in all directions from any metal. Keep in mind that the wireless signal will not pass through metal walls or metal mesh in the walls. If you are unsure of the building construction, consult your facility manager. Next, power the PIM400 TD2 by connecting the included power supply. Put the PIM400 TD2 into link mode by pressing the Link 1 button. The LED will blink red and green to indicate that the PIM is in link mode. The PIM will remain in link mode until the Link 1 button is pressed again. Before using the WPR400 at a door, Test by turning it on within close proximity to the PIM400 TD2. The WPR will perform a brief startup and then attempt to link with the PIM. The LEDs on the WPR should flash green. After the successful link test, turn the WPR off. Next, go to the area where the AD series wireless device will be used. Hold the WPR400 in the exact place that the wireless device will be installed and turn it on. In this example, we'll test to see if an AD400 wireless lock will communicate to the PIM400 TD2. Note how the WPR is being held on the inside of the door where the AD400 wireless module would be and that the door is closed. While the WPR400 is performing the link test, observe the LEDs. Green lights indicate good communication. Red lights indicate poor communication. Be sure to test the WPR400 in all locations you intend to use with your PIM400. When all tests are successful, you may install your PIM400. If the link is not successful, you can try these options to troubleshoot. For structural interference, consider moving the PIM400 TD2 to a different location. Eliminating even a single wall between the PIM and the wireless device can make a difference. Once the PIM has been relocated, power it on and perform the link test again. If relocating the PIM400 TD2 is not possible or not desirable, external antennas can be used to improve the wireless communication. There are four types of external antennas that are compatible with AD series. Each is designed to accommodate a variety of locations and needs, including indoor-outdoor and ceiling or wall mount. For RF interference, a feature called Dynamic Channel Switching, or DCS, can be enabled at the PIM to provide robustness against wireless interference. Please note that there may be a small decrease in battery life of your wireless device if DCS is used and that DCS only works with interference caused by 900 MHz wireless devices. To turn DCS on, connect the HHD to the PIM400 TD2 and log in to the Schlage Utility software. When the PIM appears in the device list, tap Device Options, then tap PIM Properties. Tap the Edit tab and locate the Channel Switching option. Select any DCS channel group. Tap Save. At the confirmation screen, tap Yes. Exit the utility software and disconnect the HHD from the PIM. Retest with the WPR400. If the link is still not successful, repeat the process with a different DCS channel group. For more information, consult your user guide.